Hi, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm George Hunter. I'm a psychologist uh, here at Nduta Camp. Uh, also worked at Niragusa at our kind of the, the sister camp down the road. And I'm in charge of the mental health activities here. We have a mental health team that works throughout the camp and, and in the hospital and health facilities here. The, the whole situation, I, I guess, for me as a psychologist, uh, the, the thing that I find stunning is just the scale of it and the fact that it doesn't seem to be really on anybody's radar, at least not in a, not in a tremendous way. Uh, we have a couple hundred thousand people here and they've all suffered enormous trauma and they're all having emotional difficulties, they're all having all sorts of problems uh, and, and it's really just playing catch up. As you can imagine, they've, they've really lost everything. I mean, these are people who uh, maybe six months ago were living at home in, in a city. Their kids were going to school. They were getting up in the morning and going to work. Uh, now they live in a tent. Most of them have nothing. Um, they've, they've been forced to flee. Uh, they've seen really horrible things, terrible violence in a lot of cases. Uh, in, in many cases, they've lost family members. They've lost friends. We have a, a young computer technician in one of the other camps, and he asked me a while ago, uh, he said, uh, what, what do people in the U.S. think about what's going on in Burundi now? What do they think about these camps and, and everyone having to, to live like this? Uh, and I really didn't have a good answer for that because the answer is that most people are completely unaware of it. Uh, not only do they not have an opinion about it, they don't even know that it's occurring. Uh, I, I really didn't have the heart to tell him that, so I, I guess the, the message that I would have is that find out about this place.